everyone, how you doing today? My name's Eric. As always, I want to thank you for coming by and checking out my video today. On this episode of Smoking, I'm going to be giving you a review of the new Chef Temp's Final Touch X10 Instant Read Thermometer. I have it right here. Full disclosure, they sent me this uh, free of charge just so I could do a review video and I appreciate it. Thank you, Chef Temp's. But like I mentioned to them, I'm going to give you my 100% uh, honest and unbiased um, you know thoughts on this I'm not going to if I, if I don't like it I'll certainly tell you that anyway in all my years of cooking whether it's inside in the kitchen or outside with the barbecue or grill one of the most valuable tools that you need is an instant read thermometer because you need to be able to check the internal temperature of whatever it is you're cooking whether it's a big beef roast chicken fish pork, you name it. Without having the ability to see what temperature it is inside, uh, there's, you're really just guessing. And who wants to guess when you spend a lot of money on some delicious food, especially if it's a big uh, prime rib roast or something like that. You have people, uh, family and friends coming over. And it's going to be quite embarrassing if you serve, serve stuff that's either undercooked or worse yet, overcooked and dried out. So when people ask me what's the one thing I would recommend uh, people who are just starting barbecuing, smoking, grilling that they could uh, get as a tool to help them have consistent results, I'm always going to say you need a good instant read thermometer. So stick around. We're going to take it out of the package. I'm going to give it some tests and then at the end I will give you my honest unbiased opinion. Let's get cooking. Let's open the box guys and check out this instant read thermometer. First thing I have to say, the box is very nice. It's very nicely packaged. It says on here it's got a, a bright backlight, highly accurate, one second readings, a long battery life and waterproof. And it says it's chef's choice. Okay, now well, let's see. Let's pull that out. Looks like we got a little protective sleeve on there. What's this say? Uh, do not touch fire or any object with a temperature over 572 degrees Fahrenheit. No, I'm not going to be cooking anything to that temperature. And we get a little instruction a book that which I'll look over in a little bit. So, first thing I can tell you, just holding it in my hand, it feels uh, kind of sturdy. It doesn't feel flimsy. So I like that. Now, I did a little background on this. One thing I like, and it helps conserve battery life, is it's going to remain off until you open it up, okay? So all you have to do is pull out, and it gives, gives you a nice bright display that you can see here. And the other cool thing about it is, you can turn this probe all the way around. So it's perfect if you're right-handed, left-handed, it doesn't matter. Really cool feature. The other thing I like about it is you have a hold button. Now you say, well, what does that do? Well, that basically holds uh, whatever temperature uh, that's showing when you push that button. Where would that come into play? Well, say you're cooking something on your smoker and you're trying to... Uh, figure out the temperature and something way in the back. Maybe you've got a couple racks of ribs or you got a pork butt in the back and you really can't see when you're reaching in to, to get a temperature. So with this, you could reach back there, you could stick it in and then just push the button for a second and it freezes that temperature. So when you pull it out of the meat and then look at it, you can see exactly what it is. I've never seen that feature on an instant read before. Most of the time, uh, you know, you stick it in, you pull it out. By the time you get to look at it a few seconds later, it's already dropping in temperature because you removed it from the food. So that's a really cool feature. Anyway, I'm going to get out a glass of ice water. We're going to test, do the ice water test. And then I'm also going to get my sous vide machine up. Uh, we'll heat up some water and we'll kind of do a test of that as well. Just to let you know, what I usually have been using for the last several years is the Smartro uh, digital thermometer. This has been um, 
very good. Uh, it's very accurate. I'm very happy with it. Uh, it's uh, similar. Uh, you know, you kind of pull it out. It also comes on. It's got a little light that you have to push in order to activate the backlight, where this one just comes on automatically. So we're going to test these two because this one supposedly gives you readings within one second, where this one might take anywhere from three to five seconds before you get a reading. But we'll try it out. Let me grab some ice water. We'll be back in a second. All right, so I have a glass of ice water here, and we're going to stick both of, them in, both of them in at the same time and see how fast they, they come up to temperature. Now, ice water should be right around 32 degrees, maybe a little warmer, you know, because just depending. Let's give this a good stir real quick just to make sure. All right. So here we go, all right, and I'm, I hopefully I can see in the camera here, but I'll look down here and we'll see how fast these things react. Okay, I got 33.9 almost instantaneously. This is saying 33.4, okay, 32.7, 33.2. Well, the first thing I, I saw was that this uh, chef temps got up to temperature, I mean, it, it stopped almost immediately after I stuck it in. 32.7, 32.9, so, you know, they're within uh, two tenths of a degree, and that could be totally normal just based on whether the probe is touching a piece of ice or just in so the water. So far, I have to say, this one reacted much quicker. Uh, I think they're both still pretty accurate. Let me get my uh, sous vide machine fired up. We'll put some water in there and we'll give that a test with the hot versus the cold. Be back in a second. All right, so I have my Anova sous vide cooker. I set it to 125 degrees. It just beat, so it is exactly at 125 degrees. Now, I don't know how accurate this is. I never really independently tested it. But again, we're going to see what's happening here and how close or how fast these, both these two instant reads react. Now, I did put them on the counter here, and both of them have a nice feature where if you put them down and uh, you don't touch them for a couple minutes, they turn off automatically to save battery life. Both of them are supposed to instantly turn on the minute you pick them up. So I'm going to do that right now. And they both uh, did come on here. The only uh, downside to this one is the light backlight's only going to come on for a few seconds, and then you have to push the button. Okay, so let's see. 125 degrees. Let's see how these, how fast these go. Boom. 125. See this light. 123.4. This is 125.2. I'm having a hard time reading this because I'm kind of looking at it upside down. 123.2 versus 125.2. Let's pull them out again. Stick them in. 125.2. 124.9. So this one's kind of moving around. This one's pretty rock solid at 125. I just went to 125.4. But it really depends. Now it's back to 125.2. So I do have to say, just with these two tests, uh, this chef temp, uh, final touch, definitely hits uh, that temperature quicker within one second. I think that's pretty accurate. Maybe a second and a half, but my goodness, you don't need it that one. I like the fact that this backlight stays on where this one doesn't. And this one's more closer to the actual temperature of my sous vide machine, 125. It's 125.2, so that's certainly within an acceptable range, versus 123.4. So, I don't know. Maybe this one's a little, uh, little off on the calibration. All right, guys, you know what? Let me get my sous vide machine put away. I'm going to come back and I'm going to give you my final thoughts and also tell you about a couple other features uh, with this Chef Temps Final Touch X10. Be back in a minute. All right, guys, so I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the specs on this that I uh, read online. I also like that this comes with a pretty nice instruction manual. This also was the winner of the Red Dot Award for product design. 
uh, last year. So I'm not familiar with the Red Dot Award, but I saw that online on their website, so I'm sure that means something. They're saying one second temperature readings. Uh, I would agree with that to a certain extent, maybe a couple seconds max, certainly faster than my other one. I really like the rotating probe. That comes in handy for either left-handed or right-handed users. So you can use it in just about any situation. I like the big bright display. My other one, as you saw, that backlight would come on literally for maybe four or five seconds. And even if you're holding it and moving it, it goes off to conserve battery life where this one will stay on, which I really like that feature as well. I like the motion activated. So if you put it down and uh, you're doing something else, after a couple of minutes, if you haven't touched it, it'll turn off automatically. And then the minute you pick it up again, it comes on. That's a very nice feature. Uh, like I said, the backlight on there is very nice. One thing I noticed too, it's got a magnetic backing to it. So, you know, most of your barbecue things, you know, you could just stick it right there on the side of your um, barbecue or one of the other barbecues you have. Obviously, I wouldn't stick it to something that's, that's super hot. But that makes it very convenient. It's also got a little hole here if you wanted to hook it up on one of those hooks off the side of your barbecue, you know, where you normally would put your, your tools. So, yeah, or you could just stick it in your pocket. It's not that heavy. It's just a nice thing to have when you're barbecue and smoking for sure. Now, they said this thing's got a super long battery life. Now, my other one here that I had, it takes like a round uh, battery, like a, like a watch battery. And it came with a little thing that you'd unscrew on the back. I probably used that one off and on for the last three years. And I've replaced the battery uh, already once. Because it got to the point where I turned it on. It would stand for a couple seconds and die. I went and bought a new battery. And I haven't replaced it after that. They're telling me this thing has a battery life of 3,000 hours. Which, wow. I mean, I don't even know how many years I'll be able to use that. If that is, in fact, true. Uh, and this is also... NSF certified. So uh, overall, I have to see it, say I'm impressed. I also like the hold button on there. I've never seen the Instant Read have this. So uh, I would highly recommend this one. It's not that expensive. I mean, it's ex more expensive than the cheap ones you can find on Amazon for 20 or 30 bucks. You really need to get a good one if you're going to go through the time and effort of cooking food for your family and friends. Spend a few extra bucks and get a decent instant read, and I can highly recommend this. Uh, Chef Temps did uh, give me a discount code on anything that they have uh, on their uh, website. I'm going to leave a link below. Click that link, and it'll take you to their website. And that way, when you put something in your cart and you buy it, you're going to automatically get that 15% discount. And uh, I've also been um, contacted by them. They're coming out with a wireless instant read thermometer similar to the meat stick. So I'm kind of looking forward to that too. So by the time this video is out, they might already have it out. So go check it out on their website as well. So overall, guys, I would highly recommend this. This is an invaluable tool for your normal backyard barbecue and smoker guys out there like myself. As always, guys, I appreciate you stopping by and watching the video. If you like it, please hit the like button. The logo on my shirt is the logo on the bottom of the screen. If you click on that, it'll allow you to subscribe to my channel. Please do. Go check out some of my other videos. I feature a lot of cooking and smoking videos. So if you just got your first grill, your first smoker, and you're looking for what to cook, go check out some of my videos. I'm sure you'll find something that uh, you'll absolutely love. And I'll leave a link above and below to my website, ericsmokeandbarbecue.com, where I have all my video recipes with photos and the whole bit. And please leave a comment. I always love hearing from you guys, and I appreciate your continued support. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.